You're watching Seatome TV. Knowledge is power. So the causes of colon cancer, um, there's two familial type or inherited. Um, there's what we call FAP, mm -hmm. um, and that's caused by mutations in a gene called APC. It's inherited in families. Hmm. And it's uh, basically what you have is you have this high carpet of polyps on the on the interior of the colon. Okay, which aren't necessarily cancerous. No. Okay. Uh, they're they're precancerous. Pre they're considered precancerous. Okay. Um, although polyps are benign by nature, mm -hmm. um, they can turn cancerous. Now the reason um, I probably shouldn't get too much into the details of of this. It's uh, it's just basically the, the the location of the polyps. Um, is in an area of uh, stem cell differentiation and um, proliferation. Okay. And what happens with these polyps is they create these little bubbles in the skin that um, get stuck. The cells get stuck. And so normally colon cells get shed often. Mm -hmm. And in this case, they get stuck in a little pocket of tissue and they get bathed in these, uh, these uh, growth hormones and turn into cancers. So that's okay. basically what a polyp is. So the other, the other type of uh, cancer that is hereditary, it's called hereditary non-polyp. It's also known as Lynch syndrome. Hmm. Okay. And that's uh, based on uh, mutations in DNA repair genes. Okay. And a common feature of that is microsatellite instability and what we call mismatch repair. Okay. And then there's also somatic uh, colon cancer. And, um, you know, or spontaneous as they call it. And that's based on bad diet and bad lifestyle. So, you know, mm -hmm. alcohol, lots of alcohol, a lack of fiber is, is really a big factor. Mm -hmm. um, a lack of um, mm -hmm. you know, fruits and vegetables, mm -hmm. heavy meat diet. Mm -hmm. And once again, um, it's associated with uh, not only with the, um, the stem cells in the colon lining, but also with the microbiota. Um, there's a lot, mm. lot to do with the microbiota in colon mm. cancer right now. And so mm. uh, a diet rich in fiber and vegetables and fruits creates a uh, anti-cancer microbiota. Right. So and that variety you were talking about earlier. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. So did you say, so just to be clear, uh, there's three. Yeah, three, three basics. Okay. There's that right. inherited. Two inherited. Two, the, there's the APC and the Lynch syndrome. Yeah. And then there's this, yeah. you know, just kind of diet lifestyle. Yeah. So, so, so the um, the FAP, as it's called, mm -hmm. familial, is has polyps in it. Okay. And then the Lynch syndrome doesn't have polyps. Okay. It's also known as HNPCC. All right. And is any one better than another, really, in terms of prognosis? Uh, it depends on the genes. Depends on the genes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the molecular features, in fact. So the next thing that's really important with colon cancers is which side it occurs on. As you know, colon um, occupies two sides of the body. So you have your left or your descending, and then you have your right, which is your ascending. Okay. It connects, you know, um, which is the stomach side, and the left side, the descending, is your anus side. Okay. So definitely having a colon cancer that's on the left side near your anus is much better hmm. than having a, a cancer on your right side. Hmm. Um, Just extrapolate. I know it's obvious to you, but connect the dots so it's obvious. Well, um, there's a lot of theories on that. Um, there's a mechanism that we know, but the theory is, is that it, because it's closer to the stomach, um, it, the food isn't quite as broken down in that area. Oh. The bolus, as we call it. Mm. Um, so mm. it's, uh, you know, there's more likelihood of having active carcinogens mm. in that area. Mm. But one of the things we do know um, that's a complicating factor is um, the microbiota. In the mm. right ascending colon, um, we have something called fusobacterium. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, it's quite interesting because these fusobacteria um, also... Uh, travel with the metastasis. So when, when you get a colon cancer metastasis, on, on when you have a right colon cancer and you have a metastasis, um, that metastatic deposits, you know, whether it's the liver or the lungs or so on, actually have this fusobacteria that normally live in the right colon. 
and they don't live in the left colon. They're mostly just in the right colon. Okay. And there's some in the small intestine, but mostly in the right colon. And the problem with these bacteria is they tend to break down chemotherapy drugs. Oh. So once again, you're in an area with high activity. And so, you know, when you take these oral drugs and, and even um, by a blood, mm. they break them down. So what we mm. suggest uh, for people with right-handed colon cancers, when they start their initial chemotherapy, um, one of the important things is to um, you know, take an antibiotic mm. immediately prior to starting your chemotherapy. Help to take out some of that bacteria. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, and a, a fusobacterium. Fusobacteria uh, specifically. specifically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of doctors actually doing that now. Mm. Thank you for watching Seatome TV. Subscribe below and stay informed.